Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make another style of octopus. This one goes quite nicely as a pencil topper or even as a finger puppet or you can just sit him down and have him as a little action figure. Um, the reason I'm doing a different technique to make the octopus is that some people were having a little bit of a problem with the uh, advanced level one which is an extended loom version and it's made on a single loom so it's quite a difficult technique this technique is going to be a lot easier and you do only need one loom or one monster tail so what we're going to start with um, oh, I should tell you I am using googly eyes um, mine are the sew on googly eyes and I just thread those onto a, uh, a band I'm using a little metal threader I made from a twisty tie and I have a YouTube video on how you can make one of those if you care to view it. So each eye needs to be on its own band and I'm going to use um, two colours today, purple and white. That's all you need is just two colours. Well, you can do rainbow colours or any colours you choose really. So those are going to be on like that. If you don't have googly eyes and you don't have beads or, or whatever you can use bands and all you would do is wrap your band around three times and slide onto a single band like that and then do the same for the next one okay and slide onto a single band so those would be your eyes if you were using no beads. I think the googly eyes look quite fun. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by making the tentacles and I'm going to use my loom to do that. You don't have to use a loom, um, you can do this without a loom if you've only got your monster tail but um, I'm going to use a loom. So they're going to be double banded and we need six. As you can see here we've got six little chains double banded chains okay and we're starting with purple and we need eight of these because he's obviously got eight legs because he's an octopus <laughs> so I'm going to do a couple of purple and then two white And you're going to need a holding hook so that you can hold these until we're ready to place them. This is one, two, three, four, five, and now six. And these can really be as long as you like. I just found that this was the right length that I was looking for. And for my end cap, I'm going to use purple. I'm going to wrap it around my hook and place on the end of my peg. So place my hook through, and it's a single band for the end cap. Wrap it once, wrap it twice and slide onto the end. Wrap it once, wrap it twice and slide on to the end. Now we're ready to loop this up so dig down past your end cap, hold the end cap in place, you don't want that flying off and landing somewhere you'll never find it or your cat will find it or <laughs> So loop these all up and let's put those on a holding hook and we'll come back and do another five of these. Come on, off the loom you. So there's three. Let's do three more.
And let's do our end caps. Oops, pick the right spot, Kate. You know, the first sign of madness is talking to yourself. And I know that I'm not mad because the second sign is if you answer yourself. That's the confirmation. And I, I don't answer myself, I don't think. Do I? <laughs> All right, dig down past the end cap and loop up. Please remember, you have complete control over how fast this video goes. You have the pause button, the mute button, the fast forward, the rewind. So um, just make me go at the speed that you need me to be at. And uh, that is fine. I promise I won't take offence. <laughs> but telling me to slow down is... Um, is a bit futile really because I, I go at the speed that I'm comfortable at and uh, and as you should too so yeah otherwise we'd be going and now we place a purple band and everybody would be really mad at me One, two, three, four, five, and let's do the last. Do our end caps. And we'll loop up. Okay, we'll pop these on our holding hook, like that. We're going to change the way our loom looks. So firstly, take your rainbow loom hook and on the back of it you have your base removal tool. We're going to take off the big base plate. Okay, we don't need that. We're going to take off the middle column of pegs. We don't need that. And we're going to turn one of these around. So you have the open part of your peg here facing this way. And this one you're going to turn around so it's facing the opposite direction, like that. So this is how we're going to have our loom set up. Now if you're using a monster tail, you just kind of set it up like that. <laughs> All right, so our first line our first row is going to be purple I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to do a figure eight like this and we're going to do figure eights all the way so figure eight figure eight so that's one band two band three band this is fourth band this is the fifth band Six band, seventh band, oops, and the eighth band, and this is all we're using, just this little rectangle. We're going to place our tentacles. There's eight pegs, there's eight pegs here as well. One tentacle is going to go on every single peg, okay? Now, if you can, face them on the inside, that would be really good. I know it's going to get a bit crowded, but it's worth it. So 
saves you having to turn them around later. So do them all on the inside. If you're putting one on here, and I'll just do one and then I'll take it off and put it back, you're going to place the tentacle whoopsie, on the peg. And it's probably even trickier to do it on the monster tail because it's so small. And then turn it round and have the little leg poking down the center like that. Okay? So that's how that's how we're going to do it. Now let's make sure I haven't lost this one. Place the tentacle and move it to the center. And everything we do from now on on the monster tail uh, on the uh, main loom on the single loom you're just going to copy on the monster tail. Okay, so all, all our little tentacles are poking in. Next, we're going to use, and I'm just going to use purple, okay? I'm not going to do, I'm not going to alternate. We will now place just a single band. Oops. Push everything down because we need to add another row on top of this as well. Now the first one was one, this is two, this is three. Okay, now what we're going to do is dig down and find the first band. Now there's going to be two of them because you've got the band that goes this way and the band that goes this way so it's the first two bands lift up and over okay the first two bands up and over they're on the bottom up and over turn your loom around and again find the first two bands up and over All right, push everything down. We're going to lay our next row. This is row number four. And I like to keep, um, I jot it down on a piece of paper usually because uh, I have a memory like a sieve pour water in it and it just pours straight out. <laughs> so this is row, row number four for me. Now this is probably the trickiest of all because you have four bands for each tentacle, remember? So we're going to actually lift four off. And you want to be left with four bands on your peg. All right. So we're taking four bands off. And it is important the order that you do this, the order that you place your bands on, is the order in which you take it off. So you do want to make sure that they're not all twisted and tangled. So let's take four off, and then you're left with four on your peg. And I'm doing two at a time so that I can ensure that I'm only taking four. and there's another two there's two and there's my other two
Okay, now we're on to row five. And from here on out, other than putting on eyes, it's pretty much the same as doing one of the skirts for the princesses. Okay, so take the bottom two and lift off. And we put the eyes on row 10. So that was row 5. Let's do row 6. Bottom two push everything down and make sure you've just got four bands left on each peg. So that was six doing seven sure you only take the bottom two let's do eight Took too many there. Just two. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do nine. Now, if you remember, I said that 10 is where we're going to put our eyes. So this is 10. Oops. Now, I have not gone all the way around because I'm grabbing my googly eyes 
and I'm going to place one here, one here, and the other side there and there, and then I'll finish off there and there. Now, the thing to be aware of is when you're looping these in like that, you want to make sure that the googly eyes get placed facing forward and you have to keep on trying to make sure they stay facing forward otherwise they'll be inside your octopus oops what's happened there let's make sure he goes on there we go So that was 10, let's do 11, and you still are going to place these like normal, but when we come to loop them, we're going to make sure that they're facing the right way. Bottom two still, we're on 11. So I'm looping in that one and then this one. See how the eye wants to turn into the back there? So I'm just going to make sure that I flip him over so he's pointing this way. And the same is going to happen with this one. Flip him in so that he's facing that way, so that the bands are behind him. All right, push everything down. I'm going to do 12. Bottom two. Thirteen. And we'll do our last row, 14. So take the last two bottom two, lift them up and over and then you're going to go around again and take the next two so that you're only left with two bands on each peg
push them down because when you take it off the loom you don't want um, to accidentally take um, have one fall off now looking where the eyes are do you want to go the opposite side because that's where we're going to tie off so grab the first one and then work your way around collecting all of these bands onto your hook you're going to take a single purple band and we're going to slide everything onto it okay Reclaim the end of your band and put one side over the other and tighten that up. Now holding that you're going to push your hook through the center and grab that band and pull it back through the other side and you're just going to pick a leg, any leg, splay this open and pop that around the top of the leg like that to secure it and here we have our little I'm just going to pull his legs out a bit so he looks a bit more uniform here we have our little octopus or as I said you can put him on your finger or now it's a bit loose but I mean it fits quite nicely it's not going to go anywhere unless you sort of fling it at someone there's our octopus. I hope you enjoy making it. I hope you find it easier. There's no suturing, stitching up the back or anything like that. It's just a little bit time consuming. So good luck with that. Take care.